because I'm getting sick and tired of the Young Bucks getting the beauty of their power over AEW, and we will we will pull it pull that down to the ground. Then they move into this next room. Dom was on the ground there. <gasps> no! Dom was on the ground there. I watched it back multiple times to see if it was really him. It was him. There's multiple other people bodies. Was Liv Morgan there? Liv Morgan was not there. There's multiple other bodies on the ground. Oh, no. And then there's the um, the next one was... Not cool, man. So we got a DM over the weekend from none other... <gasps> no! That is so exciting! Get the hell out! It, there's a, it's the verified account that we follow. Get the hell out! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to Rick and Rest <laughs> Wrap Up. We got a lot in store this evening, but it's a really awesome, awesome what happened last night or Raw before we get to that. How about let's talk about the, the first first one. It is gonna be a normal we can rest and wrap up, but it's gonna be very cool. So you better enjoy because this is gonna be super fun. Put your seatbelts on and let's go, yeah? Amen to that mom. I do have something that I am going to be sharing with everyone that nobody in this room knows except for me. But I'm not going to tell you to the end. I'm going to make you wait. <laughs> oh, I hate that. <laughs> but let me <laughs> well, just. Well, that had to go first before. Uh, no, 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 no. It won't be going first. But let me just tell you this. We got a DM. DM. A DM from someone very, very cool. You know what a DM is, don't you? I don't know what a DM is. Okay, okay. A okay. direct message on the Instagram. On the IG. It, We're going to keep it on the DL. Until the end. So let's get started. The let's one thing talk. that I will tell you let's right talk. now is that I got a text from our friend Linda at AEW. Yeah. And she said that AEW really loved the promo you cut about Zack Knight. Oh, I love that. I just watched really? that. You were passionate. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> I don't think that I means that. Tony has booked the match, but... Yeah, I, I doubt Tony has booked the match, but they did find it to be entertaining, and they appreciated the promo about Zack Knight. And I will say some behind-the-scenes info for you. If you saw the video of Derek when I asked him, are you okay? And he said, I am pissed off. Thank you for asking. I did see that. I wondered why he was mad. Was that, that the was same taken time? in the same moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you were mad at Zach Knight it, in that moment. Yes, definitely that. I was. All right. I now was. only our true friends know the the inside scoop of the that. The context behind the pissed off video. But it was kind of funny that people were like, man, he has such nice manners for being pissed off. Yeah, because he am, wasn't mad at you. Yeah, because he's like, I am pissed off. Thank you for asking. I knew that he was not mad at you because I knew it, he would not have replied jump. to you in that manner if he was actually mad at right. you. But yeah. I just it didn't know what he, Yeah, I didn't it know what you were bent up about. Zag Knight. Let's talk about the Blood and Guts match on AEW. Yes. Young Bucks wants to to have blood and guts match. They yeah. want to have it, so they haven't had it yet. No. Who are they going to have it against? Who's their opponent? I don't care who. I don't care who. Do they care who? Do they have a request? They're trying to recruit our AEW World Champion, Shrew Shrinklin. <laughs> now it's right, Bucks. You're not taking that easy. But I can't g g give you this. If they want a bloody guts match, let, let them bloody ha have it. Because I'm getting sick and tired of the Young Bucks getting the beauty of their power over AEW. And we will, we will pull, it, pull that down to the ground in, in the blood and guts. So yes, it is on. It is all like Donkey Kong. Young Bucks, you will get blood everywhere in that 
bloody ghost mash because you're done. All right. Thank you for sharing. That is like like we said, AEW. Like Donkey Kong. Always passionate. <laughs> so th- th- I'm not sure that Derek is... With, we were arguing during the, the... When we were preparing the notes today. I think that he actually is using it in the right context, but it just sounds weird to me. Um, you said this is the biggest melee I've ever seen. Yes. That sounds right to me. Mm-hmm. Well, I also tried to spell it very wrong. <laughs> like, you know, melee. Yeah. Well, it's not a, it's a word we use every day. L-E-E. It's not something we so. use every day, but yeah, big okay. melee. So who was who was taking part in this melee? Well, it was MJF and and Rush. R- Rush. Rush. MJF and Rush throwing hands once again. So MJF is back. MJF has been back, Mom. <sighs> I guess I missed that. He Welcome back, back, MJF. <laughs> what in the world? It was back. He came back at the uh, pay-per-view event. Yeah, that was AEW Double or Nothing. Double or Nothing. Okay. He came back that so hard good. he got a tattoo that said Double or Nothing on him. Oh. So he's committed. He is committed. He's throwing hands. He's committed or he's going to have to pay Scrape for some tattoo m- removal. <laughs> so MJF was throwing hands with who? Rush. Rush. And why were they throwing hands? They wanted to fight so bad. Was this like backstage, not like a planned match? It, it was in the ring. Well, then it are they supposed to be in fighting ring. in the ring? They're supposed to fight in the ring. And they were fighting in the ring. So and, and and they were. They so were throwing hands. They were doing what they were supposed to do? Well, there were no match. Rush just won the match. And MJF came out and attacked him. And MJF came out, take off his jacket, fill rock up, and then slit in the ring and throwing hands with... The ball. Okay, so MJF kind of just like bombarded him. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it. So what's uh what's your boy Christopher Daniels been up to? Christopher Daniels to end Christopher Daniels. L- l- let's just say the young bucks wants to define their clay. Wants to find with money. Yeah. Why? Took the money from their pockets. That's just bu- bullshit, okay? Bullshit. Young Bucks, they are assholes. They're out they of control. Are the worst. They're always on some sort of power trip, those yeah. two. Yeah, I think they're just out of control. They need to get checked. And so that's what I Chris- agree. And that's what Christopher Daniels did, right? And, 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 until this little worm named Brendan comes out getting harsh reality with with that fine until Christopher Daniels comes out he declined that fine from Anthony Bowens and Max and Billy Gunn so our boys the acclaimed did not get fined no Love that. Good. And I've, I am very, very thankful for. Very thankful. Very thankful of Christopher Daniels. All right. Great. So we have to interview him. He's a pretty mo- cool guy. Okay. Sounds good. Moving on to Rampage. Timeless Tony. T- what did Timeless Tony Storm do? She got a win. Over. Uh, on Rampage. I got him in. That was a really good win. Who'd, Who'd she beat? Really you, good win. Do you remember? Well, I'm probably not know her name, but but it's <laughs> <laughs> you're my head a little, little bit. Okay, what about Satnam Singh? He got a win. Short win. <coughs> short win. So it's a short match. The tall guy got a short win. He did. All right. Who'd he beat? Let's just say this this other guy. Wow. <laughs> this other guy was throwing hands to Sino Singh and and 
He just squashed him like a bug. Yeah, he did. Like a bad cicada. You told me he destroyed him. <laughs> yes, he did. Did did you enjoy watching that? That was something. Like sit, 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 sing. Whoo. I don't want to be in a bad bargain. <laughs> no, I bet Satnam Singh could do that thing where you kind of like hold your hand out and the other person just like can't reach you. He could do that to a lot of people. He could. He's a very tall man. Yeah. All right. So somebody got roasted on AEW Collision. They did. What happened? And that was Brandy. That was Young Bugs also Brandon as well. Who roasted him? Leo Clayton. Uh, was it Max? Max, Anthony, and also Billy. But was Max rapping? There's. He was. He was. He was doing. Yo, yo, listen, listen. Did Max drop a diss track? Do you know what that means? He 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 almost did that diss track on the young bucks, and this little worm Brendan comes out. To intervene. Mm. And thanks for Christopher Daniels. Put that little worm in the ring. Yeah, he got a scissor. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, Cor going to do Anthony, Anthony Bowen and Dia Clay. Brandon. Everyone loves Dia Clay. Ah! <laughs> All right. So, there was some sort of Father's Day special. Yep. And you said it was weird. Very weird. What happened? Very weird. What's going on? Let's just say, um, Nick fakes skinny and follows a card to Christian Cage. Nick Wayne? Yeah. Just Nick Wade. He gave him a card? And follows a card, yeah. Man, when we were talking about this during the notes, trying to come up with which topics we're going to keep and stuff, I really thought he said a car. So I let him keep it because I thought it was way more interesting than just a card. (laughs) But it was just a card. Is that his father? No. I thought his father was a deceased wrestler. Yeah. Am I wrong? I think you're right about that. So why was it weird? Because he's just like his pretend father, like his you father know, figure. Father figure. We all know. Even though he's an asshole. We all know Christian K is not nothing but a jerk. That's true. But ain't him liking Nick Gray's gift over Lucha Jorts. Gift. Oh, Luchasaurus gave him a gift too. Then there was too. some comparison going on. He's never nice to Luchasaurus. What did yeah, Luchasaurus he's like give him? Trying to leave. Hmm. He should leave. Luchasaurus should get out of there. He was like trying to leave to kill Christian Cage with being being an asshole to him. Yeah, he's not nice. So what did Luchasaurus give him? A picture of him. Luchasaurus gave Christian Cage a picture of Luchasaurus. Or a picture of Christian Cage. Picture of Christian Cage. Interesting. And, and th- that's really that was weird. Mm. Okay. Okay. Sounds weird all around. Tell me about Dante Martin. He got to win, and he's going to Forbidden Door this coming Sunday on June twentieth. That's in a few Sundays, but uh um, Sundays. Who? How? How did he get the win? Did he get some help? Well, he did it by himself. What? All yourself. You told me that Leo Rush came to the aid. Until Gates of Agony and Brian King is ready to attack to attack Darius and Dante Martin and was this in a different match? That's way, way before Dante uh, qualified. So did Dante participate in two matches? It's just one. Did this other so thing happen a while ago? During the match, Leo Rush came out. 
uh, after the match was over, when he gave them an agony, and Brian Cage comes down there to be beat up Tough Fly, and Don didn't want it. And now here comes Leo Rush. Okay, so Dante Who's Martin won. Down. And then there was melee. And then there was chaos. <laughs> yeah. Chaos. And during the chaos, Leo Rush came to the aid of Dante Martin. Yep. Got it. <sighs> Pulling teeth. Glad we under- got to the end of that. Um, and, and were you happy about this? Actually, I am. I like Dante Martin. I think he's a cool guy. He's awesome. I want to see this right now. Let your wife be the newest member of Top Flight. Because she is athletic. Okay. We'll see if it happens. Moving on to NXT. Tell me about this ladder squirrel thing. Somebody was making fun of somebody else, weren't they? Yeah, it was Ken James. Not Ken James. Jenny Parker, actually. Jaden Parker was making fun of Kiana James. Not Kiana James. Kiana Jordan. Kiana Jordan. Jaden Parker was making fun of Kiana Jordan. Kiana Jordan won the NXT North, North American Sh- Women's North American Championship. And she has her celebration until Shayna Parker comes out and, and to tell Jordan... When you climb the ladder like a squirrel and I was like, what? <laughs> Did that make you laugh? <laughs> it made me laugh with Will Good. Okay. You, you told me you could get some highlights. So I, I, I could get you some highlights from that one. Okay. I do like highlights. I like highlights better than wins and losses. I just want to know. I want to know the funny stuff, the good stuff. Tell me about there's uh, some trouble in paradise. Well, we all know about Chase U is. Chase U. I thought it got like, you know, dis- dis- disassembled. Dis- disassembled? Disassembled. That's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Thanks for Chase J returns back. Let's just say trouble is living in paradise for Chase U. Because. So does Chase U still exist? Actually, no. The, the whole group... Sounds like there's a lot of trouble in Paradise then. <laughs> yeah, they're ban. Are they banished? Not they're they like banished. They're disassembled. They just are like... They fell apart. Yeah. They don't have their group anymore. And all the students left. But O'Reilly and Duke... Not... Why well, I say O'Reilly... Osborne and Duke was complaining about Rush Holland. Mm. Andre Chase wanted to want to to calm pe- people down until here comes to you. T. Hill comes in and he said, she said, very loud. And I'm gonna, going going to the say it. Do, do not react to it. Must be bad language. Mm-hmm. It is. T. Hill just said, shut the fuck up and sit down. Wow. That's aggressive. You know, it is our job to react to what you say, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was way better. So I will give you that. You were warning mom. Mom didn't react. Oh, I gave a little head shake. Mm. I looked at Jack. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> of course. Okay. Of course. So Tia was go- going off with a rally and a rally. I was born at Duke and 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 also to talk about Wish Holland is outsider. Tia Tony Osborne, you were outsider and we brought you in. And and then what well, after that it, it was confirming to Duke. 
about stab Major Shays in the back. That was years ago for that. Years ago. And then Shays just said the do- he said it's done. All, all of Shacey's thing happened and until um, Tia said, said something like that. And she said, that is not a teachable, teachable moment. Teachable moment. Teachable moment. That, that have to change. All right, so tell me about a cookout. Well, there's a cookout coming coming up. I saw the cookout with Swerve and Cody. Is that what you're talking about? Not, not that kind of cookout. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, it wasn't Swerve. It was uh, those. Are, Trick, say, those are two, two different, different companies. companies. It was Trick Williams? Yeah, Trick Williams. Trick Williams and Cody. Trick Williams and Cody. Trick and the r- ring. They were. They were. It was a mutual admiration society going on. They were both just saying lovely things about each other. And yep. Trick said, "We got to know. Are you coming to the cookout?" And what did Cody say? And he said he loves to. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means, but apparently Cody's coming to the cookout. That means he can hang. Oh, you know, in with, with the crew. So there's not really a barbecue. <laughs> there would be a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> it's July. It's more so oh, like. Fourth of July. Okay. It's kind of like he. he the cookout he's is a in cool hang, so he gets the invite. Fourth of July. Well, I want to get invited to the cookout. I mean, so it sounds really good. I would like Derek to be invited to the cookout, too. I think Derek would be invited Derek to the cookout. I, invite I don't mind. I don't mind. He's in burgers. All right. And hot dogs. Barbecue. All right. Lots of barbecue and sauce. Not only is Cody getting an invite to the cookout, but he also had a gift for someone. Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, do, do you remember when Shades Sh- Sh- Jade got... JC got, Jane. Got a broke nose, what Tia did to her? Mm, I don't know if I knew she broke her nose, but that tracks that Tia was not being nice. Mm-hmm. Let's just say that was a coward move. But what did Cody do? Cody, what 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 walk up to to JC and saw the the Max and, and Cody got his Max from a couple of years ago. That, that was years ago. That was twenty eleven when he wear the Max. So he give twenty eleven Max to JC Jade and she. Like a face mask to protect her nose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was a special moment for her. And I'm really happy for that. I don't know that I'd want to wear something that somebody else had worn before on their face. Well, well I can't well, imagine it their... It was f- clean. It was I clean. I can't imagine their faces would be the same structure, but ever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. It, anyway. it, was the, it was the thought that counts, right? It was sim- the symbolism it was. of sharing. It was sharing. the gesture. Yes. Speaking of gestures... I was texting Chris on. today and I said the word gesture and I knew after I sent it that it didn't seem right. And I, <laughs> this is embarrassing. I spelled it like jester. Oh, like, you know, J court jester. Yeah. Jester guy with the funny hat. And he just responded. He didn't even say anything about the nice gesture. I, gesture. I was trying to make, he just responded and corrected me with the right way to spell gesture. And I was like, huh? I knew that looked weird. You are your it. father's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't spell. It's dad's fault. It is. He's a horrible speller. The, it's 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 like a scavenger hunt when he he writes the grocery <laughs> list. It's amazing how many different ways you can spell lettuce. <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, moving on to SmackDown. Chelsea Green had some good jokes. Yep. You Tell seem me. to be pretty positive about Ch- Chelsea Green lately. Is she uh, growing on you? Well, Gro- she's growing on me for sure, but she did make me laugh. Yeah. She called Naomi. 
she called um she she was talking it because she was fighting naomi right it was chelsea green versus naomi yes so of course there was smack talk happening on smackdown imagine that imagine that and Chelsea was talking to Bail to Bailey and 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 and, and, and Chelsea was was singing to Bailey. I'm gonna kick your glowing girlfriend. Ah, and that made you laugh. And and that. Well, Naomi so, does glow. She does glow. That made me laugh <laughs> so hard. <laughs> she is pretty cool. But turns out Chelsea did not follow through and Naomi did win. Yeah. Mm, bummer yeah. for Chelsea. Okay. This is news to me. You have a newfound hatred for a group that you used to love. Oh, man. DIY? Yep. Why? That's Johnny Gargano and uh, Champa, right? Tommaso Champa. Trust me. I do love the group for sure. But it does say here that I hate DIY, so that doesn't really make sense. But what Johnny is saying to Austin Ferry, that I hate. So, Ooh. yes, I am not a fan of DIY. Ooh, that's okay. okay. So he's your boy. picking on somebody you like, and so you're coming at him. That's how you roll. So, no longer a fan of Shamasha Shepard or Johnny, Johnny Gargano. Whoever fans with with Johnny or Champa, you will you, you will understand is in town down for for forever. Okay. Forever. Okay. So Cody Rhodes was talking about our guy Mark Henry. Yep. Do you get him a diet coke? <laughs> Cody Rose was confirming to AJ Styles the first day, like Mark Henry when he was when Mark Henry retired in the WWE and, and it was confirmed to AJ Styles first day, like Mark Henry. <laughs> so was he comparing what AJ Styles has been doing to what Mark Henry has done? Yeah. So Mark Henry like pretended to retire a couple of times before he finally did retire. Yep. Okay, so he's basically being like, you're acting like Mark Henry. Yeah, two, two AJ Styles. Right. There's a lot of big guys out there that do that. Tom yeah. Brady, Michael Jordan. There's a lot of people that retire, unretire. Brett Favre did that. They just can't give it up. Well, I'm. Mean, it's hard. It's such, I mean, it's, it's hard a, to hang up the cleats. Yeah. I mean, did that. By the way, back to um, the, the uh, what we mean, actually. Johnny, he was saying to Austin Ferry, thinks Chris Water is using him. You don't need Chris Water. That's just bullshit. Well, you have been, you have said that they've been hinting at maybe some trouble in paradise between Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. So maybe DIY is on to something. Well, maybe they're think, just trying to open Austin Theory's eyes. Maybe they're trying to help Austin. I bet sure they Maybe not. Grayson's really a worm. Crazy is fine. Okay. They are still 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 a team. Okay. But Johnny needs to do shut shut the hell up. Okay. I don't know. You might be eating your words here in a couple weeks. It's all right. We'll, we'll, down we'll play it back to you if we need is, to. <laughs> it's not breaking up. So, okay. All right. If you say so. All right. So let me guess. Was Solo Sokoa fighting Bobby Lashley? No. No. Who did he fight? Kevin Owens. So how when did when did Tamatonga attack the Street Profits? Tamatonga and Tongaloa. But well, that one is f- fair easy. I will display. Tamatonga and Tongaloa to attack the Street Profit. When? Backstage. Oh, I thought it was during Solo's match, which is why I thought he must be fighting Bobby Lashley if they were attacking him during the match. Okay, so why did they attack them backstage? For funsies, because they're mean. Yeah. Well, let's just say the blood lie is a bunch of punks. And I don't think they're punks, but let's just say a badass punks. 
Yeah, okay. Tampa Tiger and Tiger Loa are, are the badasses. I'm definitely on Team Street d- Profits. W-E. Oh, for sure. Street Profits all the way. Yeah, that's Montez Ford. That's our guy. I love him. Well, Montez Ford got splat. Well, Ugh, bummer for don't him. Don't like that. Well, that By seems... The line. Did, did they sneak up on him? Sneak attack, sneak attack, sneak attack. Oh, sure. I mean, there's a lot of, lot, lot of attacks. All right. So, Solo Sokoa got the win over Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, yes. Was it a clean match, or did the bloodline interfere there, too? Actually, no. But I know somebody did interfere, and that was Paul Heyman, because he, he didn't want to, to, to suffer um, that very bad consequences. So, nobody interfered? It was a clean match? It was it was a clean match, but Paul Heyman did did interfere. In well, Paul Heyman and verbally, thing, yeah, you might have been verbally his mouth. got got it off. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay, because Paul, Paul Heyman don't 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 do not want doesn't want that kind of, that kind of crisis. All right, let's move on to Monday Night Raw. We got a lot to talk about here, and that is good. So Corpus Christi, Texas, got a hell of a show last night. It did. Good for them. It kicked off with who? Seth Rollins. Burn it down. There was a, I I watched actually a lot of videos on Instagram this morning because I knew Monday Night Raw last night was going to be a big deal. So I wanted to be prepared coming in today. And there was a kid with a sign that said, Seth, come back. And it had a bunch of sad faces and he's holding up the sign as Seth Rollins is entering, and he is losing his mind. Oh, that's so fun. And it was very cute. Um, but, yeah, Seth Rollins looked very spiffy in his white outfit. Yeah, he, he is always spiffy. Spiff, spiffy looking. What did he have to say when he returned? Well, he uh, was talking a uh, lot of things. Uh, how's it mean? To mean I'm coming home and going back to his job and and provide for his family and because he hasn't been a, he hasn't participated in anything since WrestleMania, right? Yeah, yeah. Seth Rollins came back. And be nice to our travel chief. I will not <laughs> acknowledge him as a travel chief. Absolutely not. Too bad. Okay, well we can, are. Come on. Oh, Put Jack, it up there, Jack. Jack don't Put it up even. there. Do it. Do it. Uh, Whatever. Okay. Do it. So Do it. I did see some comments on Instagram that the, they were like WWE fans were pretty pumped about this whole Seth Rollins return thing. And this felt like a true surprise return. Like there was no rumors about it. There was no like nobody had seen him out in, in the city and that sort of thing. Like it was a true Shock, surprise, nobody expected him to be there. He was there, and that was really cool. So, that's great. So, moving on, who is a bitch? Jack Gable. I figured. Oh, uh, well. Uh, gosh. <laughs> Some just got stuck up in his butt, and he has not been kind. Did he Did he have a match, or was he just running his mouth? Well, he thinks he was still was an intercontinental sh- championship. We all know what happened at Clash of the Castle. Right. He didn't win. Yes. But it seemed like Otis maybe is finally starting to, like, turn on him a little bit. Yes. And I did re- record that, actually. And and I will g- give you m- more t- details. Did Otis, Otis... Didn't Otis push him down last night? He did. Yeah. So Otis is finally kind of starting to take a stand like, hey, buddy, you've gotten on my nerves. Good. And Otis stepped up. We'll what, see what going- happened at Clash of the Castle with all them. Well, let's just say Sh- Shop Block Jack Gable Shop Block Maxine to her name. Oh, he hurt Maxine. So Don't that's, love. That's why Otis was carrying Maxine out of Clash of the Castle. Yes. And Chad Gable did this during his match with Sami Zayn. Yes. Oh, 
he should have been focused. Maybe he would have won the Intercontinental Championship if he'd been focused. Agree. But Sami Zayn won. Yeah. Um, by the way, we are going to talk about Clash of the Castle. I got it on here, bro. Don't you worry about it. Good. All right. So then um, we did have one woman and one man qualify for the Money in the Bank, Money in the Bank ladder matches. Tell me who that was. Eo Sky and Man of J Uso. Yeet. Has Jay Uso been entering every time from the crowd? Yes. And it looks like that is his thing now. That's his new thing ever since France, huh? Yep. Yeah, he's been entering from the stands, and it's yeah. so much fun. Uh, but by the way, he's there's so a much lot fun. of fireflies out there. <laughs> All right. So, Eosky. By the reason that these have to be at our flower flies, Nigeria is bright enough. <coughs> Jay Uso beat Rey Mysterio and Finn Balor. Yes. And Eosky right. beat who? She beat Selena Vega and Kenan Jane. And Selena Vega appeared to get a little distracted during that match. Who By Liv Morgan. <laughs> and what was Liv Morgan wearing? The vest of Dominic. She stole it from her from Dominic's back. Did you see this? <laughs> no. Liv Morgan, you know the vest he wears? Liv had it on like all night. And all night. So, so is this what your um, surprises have to do with? Was it about Dom? No, it's not. Oh, okay. Well, let's talk about Dom and Liv Morgan real quick. Cool. cool. So... Dom goes up to Liv and she, he's like, please take off my vest. I need my vest. I got to go out there. Like, I got to wear my outfit, you know, whatever. And she's like, what does she say? She said, and I quote, if you want a vet, you, if you want your, your, well, she, she said, you're bossy. No, no, no. <laughs> she said, if you want the vest, take it off me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Take it off her. And Dom said, please just take it off. No, no, no. Like, you do it, please. And she wouldn't do it. So nope. Dom reached up and starts to unzip the vest. And what happens? Uh-oh. Until Damien Priest bring the moment. And here comes Damien Priest around the corner, catching Dom, unzipping the vest that Liv's wearing. And he's like, Dom, what are you doing? <laughs> and he's like, he's, he feels like the dad of the judgment day. Dude. What are you doing? <laughs> and Dom's like, uh, she, she is, she's got my vest. Like, I, I just need my vest. And so then he's like, get your stuff and get out there. Whatever he says. Dom takes the vest uh, off. Uh, Ashley is go to the clubhouse. Go to the clubhouse. Right. That's what it, but th- that's where he was Judgment Day to be. clubhouse. Yeah. So then he, D- Dom gets the vest and he leaves and. Damien's like, Liv, you got to leave the poor man alone. I I did hear that on TikTok this morning or whatever. Yeah. He, Derek was watching it. And Damien's like, come on, Liv, leave the poor guy alone. Yeah. And Liv's like, no. <laughs> yeah. No. Liv's funny. It's pretty hilarious. It was. Did anything else happen between them? That's all I saw. That's I'd, only it. And right I now. know Selena Vega attacked Liv when she was wearing Dom's vest. It did. Yeah. Okay, so what are the surprises you have for me? Two. Two surprises. I have a surprise, and now I have another surprise. Tell me about them. Well, the first surprise, I did record record this moment, but but I but I, but I am gonna gonna tell you about it. The first the first surprise. Otis push Jack Gable on the mat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you mm-hmm. told us. That. Yeah, we talked about that. What else? That that is a surprise. Okay. Okay. Well, we, I already knew that. I we I already brought it up. What's the second surprise? And the second surprise, the one you, you're not, not gonna like. Drew McIntyre quit WWE. He said, and I quote, "I'm done. Screw this company." He did. He did say that. And he I left. quit. He walked out. Oh. He left. 
He left. You know, they, they don't give him as much respect as I think they should. And I think that's what he's feeling. So maybe yeah. they'll maybe they'll come to terms and he'll come back. But Adam Pierce well, did Well, it was try a little to, too late. Adam Pierce did try to go after him. So did Triple H. Yep. But it it he was pretty upset. And he kinda like He was out. done. He said I quit. That's fine. We don't need a, a we don't need has big quitter like Drew McIntyre. Hey, 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 hey! I'm a fan. Be nice to your friend. That is so crazy. I'm a fan of Drew McIntyre. He uh, is Drew a McIntyre nice Drew McIntyre literally got you tickets man. to Monday Night Raw like two months ago. <laughs> you better, you better watch your mouth, boy. I get what he's g- g- going through, but I understand. You, you not. He didn't win the world championship at Clash of Castle. That's on him. Who who won? Well, Damien. Damian Priest won, but yeah. did, did Damian Priest have help? By CM Punk. Yeah. See, that's the whole See, thing. The, it's the, CM Punk is a cancer. Anyway, uh, let's move on. You be nice to him. Okay. Bullshit. Uh, Drew I mean, is so much nicer. Yeah. Wow. We miss CM Punk in AEW, you, and you we didn't want to, want to say bullshit you, to our friend like that. We barely know CM Punk. First of all, I did not meet CM Punk, okay? Well, I did. And You're barely, lying. barely. Like, you spent all of five minutes with this man. We have spent multiple hours of our, hours of our lives with Drew McIntyre. I have his phone number. He has gotten you tickets. It is baloney. That you are nicer to CM Punk than Drew McIntyre. Take your headphones off. I don't give a shit. Okay, so the Wyatt Six were there last night. The Wyatt Six were there. It was the QR codes. They've been teasing it for weeks, maybe even months. And he did come in last night. Super excited about the Wyatt Six. He did tell me that Nikki Cross was a part of the Wyatt Six. Nikki Cross is a part of the Wyatt Six. Um, You were so excited about this. You couldn't shut up earlier. You better start expressing yourself That's now. That's it. I'm doing it myself. We, they are here. Okay, great. It's not that hard to do. Great. <laughs> I'm glad you accomplished it. I knew you could do it. I do it. You're too stubborn to, to do it. They are here. Thank you. Now move on. Okay. So it was the end of Raw. Lights cut. Lights go down. Everybody holds their phones up. They're, those are the fireflies, the flashing yeah, of the I, phones. I was Flutterflies. I will say, I was up. all up in the Instagram mail. Oh, there, better. You know, That's better. It. Good job. Thank you, Jack. Um, I was all up in the comments of the WWE Instagram today, reading all of the, the reaction to it. And the WWE fans were so impressed by the way they put together this together, this moment, the production, the storytelling behind it. All of the little bitty details it that were involved. It was amazing. It was amazing. First, first of all, we we, we did start up the the last went out and the flower flies come on and then and now here comes the door. The door opens. This this is not creature crawling now. The creature crawling out was Nikki Cross. And like. <laughs> Creature was she's so funny. N- <laughs> Nikki Cross, and she looks like like a version like um Sister Abigail, right? Yeah, it, yeah, it's damn near like that. Sister, Sister Abigail, that's correct. She look looks like look, the girl from the the Exorcist movie. Mm-hmm. The girl from the Ring, really. Yeah, the girl from the Ring. That's that's what. And then, and then the camera guy goes backstage. And then the, ki- and then, Nikki. Nikki points. So Nikki comes out. She's she's in front of this big lantern, which they all say is to represent Bray, Bray Wyatt, Wyatt, his yeah. lantern. And then she like creepily points backward behind her. And so the camera guy goes through the side, and he goes into the backstage area. And what is back there? The other five. When they get points that way, they no give me went that way. That's what I said. That's like exactly you said. And what's back there? And when they get through the the other side, Gunter and Carmelo Hayes 
get attack. Yeah. So then can I explain what happened? Okay. Sure. So they, they go backstage and it looks like a scene out of a horror movie. Like there are men down everywhere. And it was Gunther, Carmelo, Carmelo Hayes. I heard, saw in the Instagram com- comment some people thought Seamus was right there too. And oh, they all kind the of like. Sheamus. They all kind of just like looked like unwell, like laying on the ground, like they'd gotten attacked. And then they show one of the Wyatt Six members. Was it the rabbit at that point? I think it, it was, it was the, the, rabbit, the rabbit. That was. The rabbit that is. That one is Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan is the white rambling rabbit. I've got a comment here from this person who who said who, which person is each character. So then then they move into this next room. Dom was on the ground there. <gasps> no. Dom was on the ground there. I watched it back multiple times to see if it was really him. It was him. There's multiple other people. Bo- was Liv Morgan there? Liv Morgan was not there. There's multiple other bodies on the ground. No, 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 and no, no, then no. there's the um, the next one was That's cool, man, <laughs> is Dexter Loomis, which is the Mercy the Buzzard. And he's got kind of that like long mask on and he's kind of creepy up in the corner. And then they go into the next room and wait, wait, wait before that. Triple tri- 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 H was dairy at it. Okay, I didn't see Triple H. Okay, so then he goes into Triple the next H room. Is doing it there. It's staring at Dexter Lewis. Okay, goes into the next room. Then there's Huskus, the pig boy, which is Joe Gacy. And then... I, I, I knew... Maybe... I, I was wrong about uh, about that. I, I thought it was John Cena was oh, I don't the think Huskus, so. the pig. No, I don't think that. I could be wrong. I'm and then, about that. and then it p- pans over, and you see Chad Gable, and I heard he, he got taken out too. Looks yeah. well, like he's got a big bloody spot right on his forehead. Then you see Chad Gable, and after you see Chad Gable, boom! There's Uncle Howdy. Uncle Howdy is Bo Dallas, who is Bray Wyatt's, Bray Wyatt's real, real brother. brother. Yes. And then, Not like Shamoe Joe is from a flutter. So then, Uncle Howdy starts to walk forward. The rest of the other four guys follow him, and the five guys come out, join Nikki Cross outside. Uncle Howie Howdy picks up the lantern, and he says, "We are here." And boom, the lantern goes out. Everything goes dark, and that's how Monday Night Raw ended. And I will say, wow. the the. As someone who doesn't even hasn't even followed it very long or to like know the progression of this storyline, just seeing it was very impactful. So I'm sure as wrestling fans, it was a Does very Rhea know about Dominic taking out or Liv Morgan. Couldn't tell you. I'm sure as a wrestling fan, a longtime wrestling fan, it was like a very moving, impactful moment. And how did it make you feel? Honestly, uh, I was shocked for that. I was freaking out for sure. I mean, the whole the whole thing was really nice. Bailey won at Clash of the Castle. Yes. Yes. Okay. Happy okay. for that. Cody also won. Yep. Did anything spectacular happen between either of those matches? Let's just say the bloodline tagging Cody Cody Rose. I wasn't happy for that. Oh, but I don't like that. Bad idea for the for the, for the blood. The don't bloodline. don't like that at all. Um, the only thing that was surprising to hear was that my girls, Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill, did, in fact, lose their tag titles. And I was right about it. Yeah, I hate that. Don't love it. The new tag team champions, Amplified and Aladdin. All right. All right. Last thing. Got to wrap this up. We got a DM over the weekend How from. Oh, sorry, Mom. We got a DM. Also, Damian Bruce won. Maybe not. We, no. we already talked about that. We got a DM from somebody very, very exciting over the weekend. Do you have a guess? No. It is a WWE superstar. Ooh. Is it somebody we've met before? Um, Better not be the Sort of. Not really. So we got a DM over the weekend Mm -hmm. from none other than Logan Paul. No! That is so exciting! Get the hell out! What did Logan he say? Paul? Logan. Be Logan Paul! The 
the did are you sure it's real it there's a it's the verified account that we follow get the hell out oh my god this is, that's just so fucking awesome <laughs> <laughs> What do you say? What do you say? He said, "What's your address, bud? Gonna hook you up with a prime care package." Oh, oh cut that out! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I sent him the address of our PO box, not our real address, Derek. Sorry, I got so excited. <laughs> you cut that one out too, Jack. <laughs> So, wow! Oh my God! This Where? Not, what did that originate from? Do you think? I don't know. It just we just came home from the river and we had a DM and Katie called me and she's like, "Um, have you checked Baker Banter's DMs?" Uh, and I was uh, like, "No." And she said, "I think you should go check it right now." And I thought she was like kidding. Like I didn't think it was a real account or something. Like I thought it was just like some like spam account, like little Logan Paul dot 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 or something, you know. And then I looked, and it's the Logan Paul that we follow that has a verified account. Check mark. He wants to send you a Prime Care package. I am so excited. <laughs> All right, Logan, we need to meet you. Yeah, well, we need to have him on the pod. Well, in that case, make it happen. Put Logan Paul on this podcast. This, this is an opportunity to go to SummerSlam. This is a, this is a golden opportunity for sure. Yeah. Well, I will not drop the ball. When as soon as we get that care package, I will make sure we say thank you, and I will I will try to keep the ball rolling on that relationship. Perfect. Wow, that's super cool. Super cool. Well, first of was all, was it worth the wait? It, it I'm it was I'm worth the wait for sure. It blown was away. Worth a wait for that for sure. Yes, I was super, super excited. It took everything in me to wait to, until this moment to tell you about that Logan was amazing. Paul. That's amazing. I was so excited. I actually already recorded a video of myself freaking out about it. And then we're going to end the video with this reaction right here. <laughs> so I've so been waiting. Exciting. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope this surprise was worth the wait. It I'm was worth the wait. Congratulations to the WWE fans on the return of the Wyatt Six. I know that was a really big deal, so I'm happy for you guys that you all got to experience that together. Thank you guys so much for being here. Tell your friends about the weekly wrestling wrap-up and the Baker's Bantering podcast. Find our merch on BakerBanter.com. Find us on Cameo and Snapchat at Baker Banter on all the other platforms at Baker Banter. And make sure you get your new Wyatt Six Uncle Howie t-shirt on the WWE <laughs> Shut up. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, that's all we have time for today. We'll talk no, to you later. No, whatever. Get a, get a shirt because I'm going to get We will see you on Monday. Talk to you next time. Peace. 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 Peace.